Good Friday morning, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We're looking at a warm finish to the weekend, also a pretty warm weekend coming up, but some breaks in the temperatures are heading our way, and no major problems being seen across the Mid-South where it comes to severe weather, so always good news where that is concerned. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of the screen, partly to mostly cloudy skies through the day, variable cloudiness for the most part, winds out of the south heading up to the north, and temperatures today back, unfortunately, in the lower 90s. Winds continue out of the south later on this evening. Mostly clear skies coming up a little bit later on and low temperatures in the yellow triangle down there only back into the mid-70s for tonight, but more chances of some nicer weather heading through. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Heading out to the football games tonight. Dress cool. It is going to be warm. Temperatures around kickoff in the upper 80s. Cooling off a little bit after the sun sets, but it's going to take a while probably before the end of the game before we see temperatures even closer close to nominal out there, lower 80s by the time the football games are over with for tonight. Your cough temp decks, exclusive recommendation of coffee beverage temperature out there, which is completely and totally tongue-in-cheek. Your coffee, your business on temperatures, and if you burn your lips, that's your own lookout on that. Same thing if you get a brain freeze, but definitely a good idea for a chilled drink for today rather than a hot cup of java. We're almost there, getting closer and closer to autumn. Less than two weeks to go, 13 days, and by the time we record this, a handful of minutes left over to go at this time so as of right now not seeing too much to go in the way of time frame before we get into the autumn season but it's going to take a little bit and we still have some very warm conditions out across the area we'll take a look at the seven to ten day forecast coming up earthquakes in the mid-south nothing to report in the last 24 hours still a lot of activity going on back into northern oklahoma not as big as we saw last saturday morning but still some minor aftershocks possible and some other minor quakes in and around the area there there. Advisories in the Mid-South, nothing to talk about at this time on First Defense Doppler 3, and we're not seeing anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms at this point. Going a little bit farther to the north, we do have a lot of activity in the way of showers and a few thunderstorms between Oklahoma City in Oklahoma, Wichita, Kansas, back up to around St. Louis. Much of what you're looking here is the remnants of what was Hurricane Newton, now making its way up over the Midwest. And if you're heading up Interstate 70 through St. Louis around the I-70 corridor and to points farther north around Chicago, you may be winding up with a few more showers and thunderstorms up that direction, so that could be a bit of a problem slowing down your travel. But here in the Mid-South, we're not looking at anything in the way of major problems at this time, so definitely good news there. If you are traveling this weekend, just remember some extra time would not be such a bad idea. We'll keep you updated on that. I will throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. Sunshine mixed with clouds in mineral wells, Tennessee, thanks to Tim B. for his webcam on the Weather Underground Network. He is going to be dropping over the next few days camera from the tower cam of the News Channel 3 parking lot studios uh, down to around the area of Martyrs Park in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. The mighty Mississippi dropping on through, showing dropping levels to around 4.8 above zero stage by the time we hit Monday. Rhodes College, quiet and dry. Wish it was dry where it comes to humidity out there. A few clouds drifting on through the area for this morning. Olive Branch, a few more of those clouds on former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam on the Weather Underground Network. Lori, 38654, some sunshine this morning. A lot more cloud cover in the main driveway out there and more clouds this morning with track and field cam looking like it's things are pretty quiet in and around the newly refurbished facility there. And at Union Plaza, busy as the students and teachers get to work for the early morning hours looking down toward the food carts maintenance going on, getting stuff ready for game time, and also Friday morning classes in progress, so looking good. More webcams available at wrg.com slash webcams. We're at a moderate level for today. We should be going toward a good air quality this weekend, thanks to the cold front that's making its way on through. Now, a UV index of 10, and briefly a UV index close to 10 into tomorrow could be a problem with the sunshine in between the cloud cover, so take the sunscreen with you just to be on the safe side there. Rest of the weekend, again, on the hot side, but not quite as hot as it was yesterday. 94 degrees in Memphis and 16 degrees away from the national high in Death Valley, California. 110 degrees 
the hottest temperature reported in the lower 48 states. Almanac for Memphis again a 94 degree high, 77 the low, well above normal for this time of the year, nearly 10 degrees above normal on the lows and 7 degrees above normal for the high. Record high today, 101 set back in 1980 and a record low that hasn't been broken since 1880, 48 degrees out there. No rainfall to report in the last 24 hours for Memphis or for the month for that matter. We are behind by almost three quarters of an inch and ahead for the year thanks to all that rain we got back in February and March by over a foot of rainfall, almost a foot and two inches out there. So we've gotten a pretty good amount of rainfall. Because of that rainfall, fire danger continues to be ranked as low at this time. We're not seeing any problems with burn bans across any of the states that make up the News Channel 3 viewing area. Arkansas and Mississippi not issuing any. Tennessee does not issue burn bans except on a case-by-case -case extraordinary need basis. And that's just not showing up at this time. Almanac for the moon, 158 sunrise or moonrise time today. Moon will set tomorrow morning at 12:31 a.m. and will rise again on Saturday afternoon at 2:49. Waxing gibbous just past the first quarter, and for sunshine today, we are continuing to lose daylight hours 12 hours 35 minutes of sunlight versus 12 hours 33 minutes into tomorrow temperatures in the mid-south not really any good news today warm and humid through news channel 3 at noon with chances of showers and thunderstorms in the green shaded area winds will continue out of the south southwest heading for highs back in the lower 90s for today numbers back into the upper 80s by the time the football games kick off later tonight and a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible Remember, try not to be too harsh on the officials and the administrators if they decide to call the game or postpone it. Make sure everybody's staying safe. That is, again, the reason why they're doing that for public safety. So make sure that you adhere to all the rules out there for the football games if anything happens. Very warm and humid. Might want to take along some ice water to the games because it is going to be pretty steamy out there through the kickoff and into the end of the games. Lower 80s for the finish up of football. Into overnight. Temperatures back in the upper 70s by midnight. And tomorrow morning, new cold front approaching the area. That's going to give us more chances of showers and thunderstorms as the winds turn around to the northwest briefly and give us some nicer conditions in the mid-south. Heading for the lower 90s again today with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms just not seeing a lot out there with about a less than 10 percent coverage chance today 40 percent coverage chance for showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow with isolated showers and thunderstorms possibly lingering into sunday morning so that's going to be the main thing that we see out there for the potential of anything involving showers and thunderstorms. And look at those numbers on Sunday. Back in the lower 80s for highs. Bouncing back next week into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Very typical for this time of the year. Dry for Monday and Tuesday, so a nice bit of a break there. Temperatures still on the hot side Thursday and into Friday. And chances of showers and thunderstorms will wander back into the area. But daytime pop-up showers and thunderstorms only. Nothing major coming our way and no severe weather expected at this time. Two iridium satellites satellite flares will be happening tonight within seconds of each other at 8.25 p.m. in the southeast skies. They should be decently bright. It'll be Iridium satellites 10 and 90. Again, that'll be roughly in the southeast skies at about 8.25 p.m. tonight. So if you'd like to see those, get out and take a look at that. Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their monthly meeting about a week late thanks to the Labor Day holiday last week. 8 p.m. tonight at Auditorium 153 in Assisi Hall. That's at the Christian Brothers University campus on Central Avenue. Avenue. More information about the topics, astrophotography and video astronomy at memphisastro.org. And the Kennan Observatory is holding a free viewing session Sunday night. Should be mostly clear for that and free and open to the public, families and kids, bringing along everybody there. You'll need to park in a specific place away from the observatory because of all the construction. If you'd like to know more, visit my social media web pages for more. Star clusters, nebulae, and the moon will be in view. So a good opportunity to see things there. And thanks to the Department of Physics and Astronomy from the University of Mississippi for passing that along. Tune in for the forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. You can still catch my weathercast Monday through Friday mornings uh, with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live and also on Memphis in the Morning. That's on AM 730. Get our weather app. Search WREG Weather on the App Store if you'd like to download that and get more information there. And Skywarn meetings coming up in the next several weeks. If 
We'd like to know more about this from the National Weather Service and how you can stay safer getting your kids, your school, your organization, your business trained for severe weather. These are the meeting dates so far. There'll be more added over the next several weeks, so a good opportunity to keep up to date with that and follow me throughout the rest of the weekend on all these social media websites. We'll have updates throughout the rest of the morning. News Channel 3 live at 9 coming up as of the time we record this. I'll be on a News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim have first at 4 and following tonight, and I'll have more coming up tonight and or into the rest of the weekend through all the weather casts on News Channel 3. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with the latest edition of Friday Morning's Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me. Questions and ideas, austin.onick at wreg.com, and thanks for joining me on Weather Overtime.